Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com the first week of July 2021. Filmmaker Richard Donner died June 25, 2021, at the age of 91. He directed blockbuster movies like Superman, The Goonies, and The Lethal Weapon series. Donner is being remembered as an influential director who brought us beloved classics. His other films include The Omen, The Toy, and Scrooged. NHL goaltender Matisse Kavlenix died July 4, 2021, of injuries sustained in a fireworks accident at the age of 24. He was a rising star of the Columbus Blue Jackets, and he also played for their AHL affiliate, the Cleveland Monsters. He is also being remembered as a star of the national team for his native country of Latvia. Musician Sanford Clark died July 4, 2021, at a hospital in Joplin, Missouri. He died of COVID-19 at the age of 85. He was best known for his 1956 rockabilly song, The Fool. It was a top 10 hit, and Elvis Presley later covered it. One mourner on Legacy.com remembered Clark's music. Godspeed, Sanford. Thank you for the music memories and one of the anthems of my youth and beyond, The Fool. Clark was a veteran of the U.S. Air Force. He served in the South Pacific. Italian pop star Raffaella Carrà died July 5th, 2021, after an illness at the age of 78. She's best known in the U.S. for co-starring with Frank Sinatra in the 1965 movie Von Ryan's Express. Kara is also being remembered for international pop hits like Tuka Tuka and Tanti Oguri. Football coach Terry Donahue died July 4, 2021, at his home in Newport Beach, California. He died of cancer at the age of 77. He was the head coach of the UCLA Bruins from 1976 to 1996, and he took them to five Pac-10 championships. He was the winningest coach in the team's history. Donahue is also being remembered for his work as general manager for the San Francisco 49ers and in sports broadcasting. One fan said on Legacy.com, As a player, coach, and human being, he exhibited unparalleled integrity, drive, fairness, and kindness. Haitian President Jovenel Moise died July 7, 2021, at his home in Petionville, Haiti. He was assassinated at the age of 53. Moise had been President of Haiti since 2017. His presidency was controversial, and his assassination leaves new turmoil in Haiti in its wake. Actress Suzanne Douglas died July 6, 2021, at the age of 64. She was best known for starring in the 90s sitcom The Parenthood. Douglas is also being remembered for roles in movies like Tap and When Stella Got Her Groove Back and in the Netflix miniseries When They See Us. Journalist and influencer Aisha K. Faines died July 2, 2021, at the age of 35. 
She was best known as a panelist on The Grapevine, a YouTube-based talk show elevating the voices of Black millennials. Baines is also being remembered as a broadcast journalist and columnist. One mourner remembered her on Legacy.com. I enjoyed listening to her opinions and comments on The Grapevine. She was very inspiring, eloquent, and down-to-earth. My heart is heavy, and she will be missed. Filmmaker and actor Robert Downey Sr. died July 7, 2021, at his home in New York City. He died in his sleep at the age of 85. He's best known for writing and directing the 1969 classic of underground cinema, Putney Swope. He was the father of actor Robert Downey Jr., and he is also being remembered for directing his son in movies like Up the Academy and Too Much Sun. Downey was a veteran of the U.S. Army. In Surfside, Florida, more victims of a condo building collapse have been located. Two weeks after the tragedy, at least 46 people have died, and nearly 100 more are still unaccounted for. The search has transitioned from a rescue effort to a recovery effort as crews work to provide closure to families. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Florida have been lowered to honor the memory of former U.S. Congressman Harry Johnston. Flags in Iowa have been lowered to honor the memory of Lametta Wynn, former mayor of Clinton and Iowa's first African-American woman mayor. Flags in Washington have been lowered to honor the memory of Stafford Creek Correctional Officer Gabriel Forrest. Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor the memory of firefighter Sean W. DeMunk of the Lower Marion Fire Department. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of former Indiana First Lady Pat Whitcomb. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.